excitement. I don't need to tell you that this car has been fitted with a whole bunch of track orientated wings and things. They bigger and they better and they move in a scientific dance of intricate calculations that keep you glued to the road. At the right moment it has a ton of downforce. That's nearly the same weight as the car itself. Any more and you'll be scraping your butt cheeks on the Nürburgring. And I have to say that it does all of this at speeds 15% lower than that of the Senna. Here we see those side vents where the air feeds in here through the radiators and then coming out at the back here over there and being distributed towards the rear wing so it can do its job. Then you see this little carbon lip over here. Phenomenal. The air that comes over the shoulder of the car, it gets pushed up here and by the fact that it gets pushed up it generates a sucking power on the side. So the air leaving here is actually faster and more smooth than the air being forced in here. This in the normal Senna is glass. So you can see what kind of pants the driver is wearing. But in this car, they said, that's not that important. This is not real glass and you don't really have any windows. This is sort of sliding window over here if you just want to get a Pepsi through the window. But otherwise, on the other side, everything's solid. It's a pure, pure track machine. These are cavities. There's just nothing over there. This is super thin. As the air gets pushed in here through these cavities, moves right through the entire car. 20,000 euros more for this, the uh, silver or rather the uh, chrome foiling. Here, of course, you can see the radiators in there, getting the air pushed in from the front and thereby cooling it and being pushed further through the top of this car. This all in a bed of carbon. The doors, just like in the 720, they have been, uh, um, they extend towards the uh, top of the car, so it's easier to get in. If you look at this. See in the 720, this is where you have glass and that's really cool. Here, solid, but it's easier to get in. Of course, also in carbon fiber. Gosh, my arms break. <laughs> the air that comes over the roof enters into this roof scoop and then gets forced into the engine bay as well to cool this car. Now, this car gets hot so quickly because it's been designed to cool itself down once it moves. If it doesn't move, there's not a lot of airflow that goes over and through all these panels and giving the radiators enough cool air. So it really starts getting warm. If you go to Caltex and you want to fill up quick, this is what you use. Over here at the back, of course, we have this insane aero wing that hangs and doesn't sit, it hangs and it's an active wing. So it moves the entire time. This rear diffuser, are you actually even kidding me? This is the automated jack, which when they connect the air pressure system to this, they can lift the entire car at once in order to change all four tires simultaneously. In the normal Senna, when you fit our stage three performance system, you also get the GTR race exhaust system fitted to that car. And the reason why we call it the GTR race exhaust system is because it has the same exiting tips as the GTR. You guys see these uh, interesting pipes over there? It's basically a foam system so that if anything should start burning on this car, they can press a button and the whole car would be filled with a fire extinguishing foam. What a car this is, guys.
sitting in here is so absolutely incredible. It feels like you're in some sort of a spaceship, something so incredibly unique. Everything's made out of carbon fiber. Of course, this car has the carbon tub, the, um, the carbon fiber monocage 3R, and everything else gets bolted onto that, including this six-point harness fitting, or the fitting for the harnesses. It's just incredible. We've got the steering wheel on here, very minimalistic. A screen over here giving you a picture of the rear because, well, that's roundabout the only thing that you can see from the rear. And then, of course, um, yeah, the way this car works, just very, very differently. You pull this switch to the rear, push it down, everything starts firing up, the fuel system gets going, and at some stage, you press this button and this thing launches into life and it is such a crazy crazy experience the steering wheel you can't do big three-point turns it's that way and that way that's all that you're gonna get the feeling of these pedals changing gears listen to that it's so mechanical there's no plasticky feel to it you can see just how this has been honed out of aluminium fabulous we have to get going get this car in the truck and to the track because we have a strict slot how do i open the door this is the thing you need to actually switch on the master switch in order to open the door All right. Well, guys, this is it. We are on the track. It's warm and uh, super excited. But as you can tell, a little bit on the nervous side. Oh, six point harness. When you have one of these in your car, you know things are probably gonna get serious. I need to go a bit to the front because the steering wheel is probably not gonna come to me. Master switch on. Gotta wait for the fuel pump to get everything where it needs to be. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Do I need to engage first gear? Right, I think that's it. How do I engage first gear? I can't engage first gear. Okay. <laughs> oh, because the door was open. So, did you want to engage the two gear? All right. Okay, that's nice and embarrassing. Wouldn't drive because because uh, the door wasn't closed. <laughs> this is bonkers. <laughs> Now, I'm not wearing a helmet, but if you did have one of those fancy ones, you could communicate through this car's radio system with your mates in the pits. <laughs> of course, this car is driven by the same twin turbo V8 that you get in the Senna. But this one has 825 horsepower. 800 newton meters of torque. And then this is the part where I tell you how fast it goes to 100. But I don't know because McLaren doesn't say 200. I don't know because McLaren doesn't say. Top speed. It's almost as if none of that really mattered. And it doesn't. In here I've got this screen that shows me what's happening behind me. Probably for cars that want to overtake. But not today. 
the Senna GTR wasn't made for a city any more than a hippo was made to swim in the ocean. How fast it'll go depends on how good you drive it, how deep you hone into everything that it has on offer. Because this is not a racetrack in which we are allowed to do extremely high speeds, the Senna can't cool itself quick enough and it starts, well, in a sense, to overheat. So uh, basically, what we have to do is take a break every couple of minutes to just let her cool down. This car is sculpted so aerodynamically, everything that makes this car go fast needs it to go fast. Otherwise, it just gets bored and hot. Those figures that we talked about before, they only really make sense if you compare this car to another one. And that's the thing, you can't, because there's no platform for it. This is in a league of its own, definitely. I mean, half the steering wheel's missing. Driving this on a proper racetrack like the Nürburgring with a very skilled driver must be a frightening experience. Yo. This is not getting out on the Nürburgring and cranking the living daylights out of it. But if you think about it, this car costs north of one and a half million euros. Every single kilometer is worth so much money. Every single chip of the paint job is worth a lot of money. Every bit of wear and tear is worth, altogether now, a lot of money. Which is why we can't do that. But this is about as close as we're gonna get to it. We are in a facility where we could drive this car that's not even road legal. What a fantastic privilege. I hope there's gonna be one moment in the next drive, I think I can drive it one more time up and down, that I can just once squeeze on the throttle. Okay, here we go. Temperature, 94 degrees. Beep says we're ready. Engaging first gear. I love how this car just clucks into first gear. Look at that, that's locking the wheel. That's it. <laughs> McLaren, what have you done? <laughs> No pretense, there's no surprise. Everything in here has been honed for going fast perfection. And we've got to stop already because she is getting nice and hot. Oh my goodness. This car's got aircon. Are you freaking kidding me? You guys just made a very sweet race car. And now the aircon's gone off. You can feel all the heat from the engine and all just really pouring into this cabin. Of course, it's probably got north of 20 degrees outside anyways. But without aircon and without... No, 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 wait, wait. I'll open my window. has been another one of these incredibly insane days where we got to drive a car where there's only 75 of them in the entire world. You gotta think about that, they all sold, which means that this is a very special occasion. We hope that you enjoyed this film. Please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. Hit that little reminder button over there so you get notified every time we upload a new film, which by the way, is once a week. See you next time, ciao. Das ist so, nee, ja, ja, gut, nee, 
Aber... <lacht> Hello? <laughs> I couldn't hear you. Can I have a Big Mac uh, menu? Thank you. the GTR wasn't a daily driver. <laughs> See you guys in the next film. Cheers. Out of town of